Not yet. We don't have the snack time for you. I was trying to point out the poop. Yes. Aha. No, man. Yes. <laughs> You're so funny. He's so fast. I love him so much. Hey everyone and welcome back to Space Lizard Exotics. Oh my goodness, we have such an exciting day today. If this is your first time visiting the channel, well, welcome to Space Lizard Exotics. We have some amazing, amazing things to do today and some amazing creatures to see and take care of and feed, including the green tree python and the amazing little Asian water monitor. We're gonna be doing some daytime feeding today. I'm super excited. So, well, let's get cracking. If you haven't yet, hey everyone, hit that subscribe button. That way you can stay up to date with all the amazing cool videos that we do weekly, every Tuesdays and Thursdays, unless, you know, life happens, which, you know, it does. But every Tuesday and Thursdays, we do new YouTube videos. And if you haven't yet, check out the TikTok and the Instagram. We got all the cool creatures on there. So, well, without further ado, and me just yapping away, let's get cracking and let's get these little monsters fed. Oh my goodness. So, let's go. All right, everyone. Well, as you know, BB is my beautiful little Asian water monitor. We've done a couple little different little things in her enclosure recently. I'm still, still excited to do finish the new enclosure. I know I've been kind of procrastinating on it. Just life events have happened and we uh, want to get her in there soon though because it's going to be rats. It's going to be a lot bigger for her, a lot more room for her to do all of her shenanigans. But, all right, well, let's feed this wonderful little, oh my goodness, wonderful little creature. Creature of goodness, creature of sass and just honoriness. So, I love my Asian water monitor. Daytime feeding is super fun. A reason why I like daytime feeding is you get to see everything, right? It's like nighttime feeding, it's a little dark in there. And you wonderful, amazing humans get to see it all in the wonderful light in its glory. Oh my goodness. So right now I just got some little de feeders for this beautiful little gal. So we're gonna get her some num nums. And we're also gonna feed the green tree python. So the green tree python, as you know, she's my, she's my good eater. Um, the other one, I'm kind of having a little bit of issues with, not issues, I should say, it's just not wanting to eat, and it's really, really, really irritating because I want the, you know, want it to eat. It's fun to feed green tree pythons. Usually they're very good eaters, so I don't know really what's going on with that, but we're gonna find out. So, all right, honey, one little snom noms? Let's give her some nom noms. Hey, honey, you gotta calm down. You gotta calm down. You gotta calm down with the nom noms. You do. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Good girl. Give me some more nom nums. Good girl. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Girlfriend, look at you. There you go. So, let's give her a little bit of noms for a day. A little bit of snack. She ate a pretty decent, I wouldn't say huge size meal the other day, but yeah, pretty big. So I like to feed her you know, usually every other day. Sometimes I do feed her every day, depending on what size of feeders I do give her, but I think she did phenomenal. Isn't that fun? It's always fun to feed little BB, little BB face. Oh my goodness. Let's try to feed this gal. We're gonna do it some fun daytime feeding. We gotta feed all the reptilians today. At least some of them. So my green tree python, my sarong, not this beauty. She's a good eater. She's always, she's always ready for some nom noms. Well, my sarong though, it does not want to eat. And it's really, really strange because the temperatures in the enclosures are identical. There's no, nothing really different about the temperatures, the humidity, anything like that. So I don't know what's going on with the other one, but we're going to see if she eats this morning. Because recently I actually just fed Ella as well too. So, but daytime feeding is fun. I haven't done daytime feeding in a while. Daytime feeding is always exciting, so you get to see you know, the snakes in its glory. Oh, you ready? Want to eat? Want to eat today? Eat? Eat? Oh my goodness! What? Yes, she did. Look at that. She's such a good eater. I never have to worry about this beautiful little gal. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Really blues on her too. She's such a beautiful snake. Green tree pythons are so fun to feed. That's how normally they react to every single time. That's why I'm wondering why my sarong's not wanting to eat like that. I'm like, come on, act like the Aru. She's great. She just wants nom noms and she eats good. So this was just a little bit smaller mouse that, because uh, I did feed her recently as well. 
little bit of a larger feeder, so. But she's always hungry, she's always wanting food. Green tree pythons are funny, so, you know, it's it's kind of a balance knowing between if your snake's hungry or if it's just being, has that feeding response going on, because after snakes eat, they're still like, feeding response is gnarly, they're in like feeding mode, so they usually are still very nippy and they'll strike at things because they're in feeding mode, feeding response. Um, but green tree pythons are known for just always acting hungry, so it's kind of interesting to um, see them after they eat, especially a large meal, still want food. They're like, dude, you just ate. No, no more food. Maybe in a couple days. No, six to seven days. Maybe. So, um, but yeah, about six to seven days, seven, eight days sometimes if it was a larger, larger feeder, I'll push it, or if she's just not acting like she wants food. But if I do want to feed them a little bit sooner than that, I'll give them a little bit smaller meals. That way I get to have fun feeding them. Because I love feeding, it's super fun, it's exciting. And I get to shoot these amazing videos for you wonderful, glorious humans to watch these awesome, awesome reptilians. What? That's so cool. I'm so excited. Are you all ready to go feed the swamp puppies? I am, but let's get a couple more cool shots of her eating and let's go sweet feed those dang little swamp goblins, swamp puppies, whatever you want to call them. Actually, you know what? We're going to talk about that. What do you like better? Do you like swamp puppies or swamp goblins better? Let me know. Comment below. Swamp puppies or swamp goblins? What do you think fits those little, little better? We're going to go see them here in a second. So, you know, hold your thoughts and, you know, maybe you want to see them one more time for you. Swamp puppies, we're here. We got the feeders. Oh my goodness gracious, what is going down? Swamp goblins or swamp puppies? What do you think? What do you think? That's what's more important. What do you think, swamp goblins or swamp puppies? We're gonna give these little, little shysters a little snack. That's what we're doing. What are you doing, Brutus Man? How's my boy? What you doing, bud? Hi. Say hi to everyone. Say hi to the Space Loser Exotics community. We love you. And little mama's over there. Hi. Hi, Nebula. This is my baby girl. Oh, I know, okay. So, yep, that's Brutus face. So, if you have been watching the Space Lizard Exotic videos, you know Brutus is another personality, but he's super funny with food. He knows when food time is. Oh, hey, we gotta clean this. Look at that. I made a little poopy poop. Hey, no, not yet. We don't have the snack time for you. I was trying to point out the poop. Yes, haha. No, man, yes. <laughs> You're so funny. He's so fast. I love him so much. Huh, look at this. What are you doing? Are you gonna try to get that? It's not food yet. It's not food yet, bud. So, if you've seen the last video, we did some clicker training. If you get a chance, check out the clicker training video. It's actually really cool. So we're actually trying to start doing that more and more when we feed them, trying to start doing that with Brutus especially, because he's gonna be a little shyster, especially when we start feeding him when he gets bigger. Oh my goodness, because look how, look how much of a personality he is already. Look at this, see? He's already a personality, look. He's already like, what is that? Ready to just snap at it. This little one's just more like nosy pants. She's like my nosy, I call her my nosy creepy neighbor. You know, she's just always just like floating around, a little smile and a stare. He's more on the other hand like, hey, you got me a feeder? And when I do, I give him one. When I don't, I don't. He's not, he's not stoked on it. No, I know, I know. You're my, you're my dude. All right, buddy, enough talking. Come on, buddy. Come on, dude. Oh, up, oh, come on. Ready, buddy? Ready for it? Come on, my swamp puppy. Come on. There you go. Heck yeah. Just being late to the party. Come on. Come on, my beautiful gal. Oh, come on. Girlfriend, there you go. Oh, a wild woman. Yep. Hey. Get the other one before Brutus comes get you. Come on. Get it. Brutus is a pig goblin. Come on. There you go. Good. You guys are acting more like a pig goblin. Is this pig goblin? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I'm make you fall in the water. Right, you did good, little mamas. Good girl. I love my little baby nebula, little mamas. Oh my god, you did good. I love my girl so much. She's awesome. Well, that was so cool. Such a fun time, daytime feeding today. Oh, I love doing daytime feeding. It's so fun. You did wonderful with your little snacks. You jumped out of the water like a dang little. <laughs> love that. Swamp goblin, whatever you want to call them. What do you think in the comments? Comment below. Do you want them to be called swamp goblins or swamp puppies? What do you call them? I kind of go back and forth between both because I think they're just absolutely spectacular, adorable, amazing caimans. I love them. Oh my gosh. So, well, I think you all did phenomenal. 
Well, that was super fun, everyone. Thank you so much for kind of tuning into this fun, quick little daytime feeding video. We had a blast. We're gonna talk about some more things. I got some more chores to do. Gotta do some little doodads in the gecko uh, enclosure, as well as some little, some eat, always cleaning to do, right? I always got some poo to clean up somewhere and some things to do in the reptile enclosures. enclosures. Hey, everyone. Wherever you're at in this wonderful, glorious world, have a wonderful, phenomenal day today and stay rad as always. And if you haven't yet, definitely hit that subscribe button and stay up to date with all the wonderful, amazing space lizard exotic videos. It means the world to me and you are all rad. Thank you so much for tuning in and we will see you next time.